Hello to Brachytherapy followers. Today we speak about our experience with the in vivo PTW rectum probe 9Y12 in brachytherapy patient treatment. Length of this uh, probe 2.5 meter and 5 diet is located in this part. System fixed not in the wall but on separate stand to be at the center of the room. Today I will show you adaptation of the system to the magnetic resonance imaging technique. Let's start our presentation. To avoid metal artifacts in magnet resonance tomography images, we use imitator of rectum probe made of 6 mm catheter, which is inserted into initial catheter with outer diameter 1.2 cm. Before radiation treatment procedure, the imitator is replaced by a real diet detector. Pieces of plastic imitate diets. R1 diets imitate cylindrical piece of plastic to stop water leakage. Another plastic pieces are elliptical shape to imitate diet angle and let us water pass. Additionally, into catheter inserted angle indicator uh, to show uh, the direction of the probe averaged angle. Here you can see demonstration of absolutely artifact-free sagittal magnetic resonant images. As you know, water we see as a white color and air catheter wall diode imitated plastic we see as a black color. That is diode numbering and wire R2 er and so on. On axial slices we can see diode imitators having angular indexer for introducing angular correction factor for the diode readings in the future. Analyzing results of measurements we are doing in two stages. First is positioning criterion of acceptance. Second is a shape criterion. Since imitator diets and real diets can be in different location along basic catheter, we can expect signal values in some range of catheter coordinate, plus minus 2 cm. It is positioning criterion of acceptance. Uh, next criterion concerns shape of the curves. Shape of the calculated and measured curves should coincide within 15%. Inter and extrapolated curve of measurements we shift along catheter coordinate to get minimal difference. Here you can see same analyzing when measured curve don't have maximum. Here I scroll through the Excel file where we collect in view measurements of our GUN patients. Period from February to December of last year. Total 65 measurements. Perhaps you see that extrapolation line outside measured curve is straight line. It is of course too simple approximation which make, makes results worse. Besides this, sometimes electrometer loses connection with some diet, what disturbs real picture too. Uh, since, as you remember, we calibrate diet on the angle of minimum sensitivity, we expect sometimes increased signal when diet turned by rib size to the iridium surface. These trends we see in the result. If we look at the statistics of the last year, the position criterion was satisfied in 90% of all measurement, and shape criterion was satisfied in 75% of cases. Remind you that we does not introduce detector angular correction now yet. Now we speak about important things for the diet calibrations. Recommended calibration we do in Phantom PTW 9Y9 3 only for diet R3. 
He essential that we should take into account angular dependence of the diet. Diet is more sensitive to the radiation when ribs of its plate directed to the source because there is no self-absorption and we calibrate it not on the peak of its sensitivity or ribs view to source but on minimum sensitivity it is plate view to source uh, next important point why we refused from calibration diet r1 r2 r4 and r5 in cylindrical photon 9193 we compared calibration factors for diet r1 in this two scattering equivalent geometry and found different approximately seven percent the reason is lack scattering in this phantom for the diode close to the phantom age the recommended calibration by using inverse square law is too rough approximation leading to systematic error uh, so instead of calibration in PTW cylindrical phantom, we calibrate diodes R1, R2, R4 and R5 relatively to R3 on accelerator photon beam 15 mega electron volt and depths at maximum ionization 2.8 cm. To be sure that accelerator output is stable, we do measurement in five point corresponding to positions when every diet located in the center of the radiation field. Mounting of probe at calibration depths in water made in this way that we can rotate outside catheter and as a result turn the probe by its less sensitive direction towards accelerated target. Finally, we multiple times found a relative calibration factor for these diets. Here you can see two axle calibration protocols for two probe. Curve at the center of the protocol correspond to 15 MV radiation field profile. And the left bottom curve demonstrates final results. For example, for probe 1725, differences in calibration factor for diet R1 and R3 is 3%. Uh, next, our part about temperature dependence of rectum probe sensitivity. In specification, we see number less than 1% per Kelvin. In worst scenario, it means approximately 15% correction of diode's readings. To figure out the more precise value for temperature correction was assembled setup where temperature cycle was done repeatedly. Results presented as poster on Astra Congress this year in Vienna. Based idea of measurement setup is water flow through concept, what can be easily understand from schematic figure. Here you see readings of the diodes for all temperature stop points segments during experiment. To avoid possible temperature shifts, which can be disturbed, useful effect and the change source to the detected distance, the mounting of perfusor was done this way that possible temperature shift will be perpendicular to direction of radiation. Conclusion can be done. First, temperature dependence factor is 0.1% per Kelvin order of value. And second, it is in agree disagreement with others from Budapest. The question is, which one of us is right? If we estimate failure mode and effect analysis for brachytherapy GUN, the procedure in our department with and without in vivo measurement, we get three times increasing risk priority number because in our practice rectum probe give us more reliable results than we see in practice of Budapest team. So it makes sense that we in contrast to Budapest team recommend 
to use rectum probe in clinical practice. Thank you for the attention.